Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny, and I thought we would work on the um, paper, or not paper, yeah, paper bags that I got at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen such pretty ones before. And I think I got two of these, and then I got a yellow one, too. I don't know where that is, but a really pretty yellow uh, paper bag. So I thought I'd show you how I'm going to make them. I've made them, you know, these before, but I thought I'd show you. So... Well, the first thing I did was I measured, you know, the papers that will go inside. So if this is six, um, I want to go maybe five and a half. So I'm going to have my papers folded five and a half, and then I'm going to cut them. And then the length of this bag, and you have to go according to whatever bag you have. Uh, this is... Wow, I think I cut it to nine. I decided nine because if I want laces and things, but you could do, you know, nine and a half, whatever length you have, just make it a little bit shorter. So I've decided to make mine five and a half across folded or 11 across cut by nine is what I chose. And then you'll um, get to this part. You'll just be folding your bag and then you'll be taking this piece, folding it over. But we'll get to that part. But isn't it beautiful? Look at all the sparkles. And the yellow one's really pretty too. So it's a, I would say a beginner type journal to make. And I just got done cutting a bunch of papers. I won't need all these, but I'm thinking about uh, maybe 25 pages in my journal so I cut some thicker like three thicker um, you know more of a cardstock three of those and then this is going to be a bright you know colorful journal happy so you know I wanted colors that are you know maybe blues yellows pinks greens so I tried to pick some you know happy colors Th those are my thicker ones and I got different um, lighter weight scrapbook paper bright cheerful and i'm not going to um, coffee dye these uh, pages because it's just you know i it's not real vintagey and i just um will either stamp on it or i could run it through a digi and have it lightly printed i think i'm just going to stamp on the ones that have plain so i just have a variety and then you can save your cutoffs too and use those you know the bottoms that you cut off just put those aside too. So I put them in piles, pile for lightweight, pile for the thicker, and then I cut, this one looks a little long. Let's see if this is, this is nine. I want nine long. Yeah, that is pretty much maybe just a tad nine. By five and a half. Yep. Okay. So then I have a pile of, you know, maybe vellum, different, just like a green graph. Uh, this I got on Amazon. It's like a faux, faux coffee dyed. I'm going to move these over. And then I have, oh, here's a lightweight. I'll put that over by the thinner papers. Then I have like a grid, it has lined on one side. This is like a faux with little prints in it, little children's writing, a little, you can get stationary, folded, bright worksheet, and a ledger. This is more kind of a, a grid type paper. So then I have that pile. Then I have a pile. Um, I just decided to put, you know, these like little note. You know, these are fun to put in little notepads. You put those in journals. I used, got a pile of, uh, you know, your adult coloring book pages. Then I have some book pages, kind of fun kids' book pages. Um, 
And then what you need to do, you know, is make sure it's um, nine going down that I cut or whatever your, your measurement is. And then it'll be have to be five and a half. So what you'll do is because for whatever width you have it. So then I just um, take my paper and then I'll score it at the five and a half mark. So that will fit in. So that's a book page. Uh, here was another children's book page. It was kind of cute with the bunny, but I don't know that this will really fit. I mean, I could use that for a tag probably. Um, here was from a bird book. And then I had two different size uh, Edith Holden. This was, I don't know what they call it, a day book maybe. And then here's the larger book page. And then I just, like I said, folded it, scored it, and whatever width your book is. So it will go in like this. And then a book page. And then here's a, uh, a garden book. And I just folded it along here. And I always just kind of double check. Yep, yeah, that's five and a half. And then that's nine. So those will work for book pages. And then I'm going to take apart, I think, these book pages because uh, they're really pretty. Down a garden path. This is like embossed. Two places of love and joy. Carla Dornacher. So um, it has bright, cheerful pages. So I think I'm going to um, show you how to, I use a seam by, uh, seam, seam ripper, or you could use, you know, scissors, small scissors. And I'm going to take these apart and I'll kind of fold the book back if you can. Just there, sometimes there's two threads. I think I got that all. Then you've got your book. The Lord's love surround those who trust him. It's really pretty, aren't they pretty? So faith, keep bless, reap blessing. So I'll decide. Uh, these are so pretty. These will be perfect in there. So I'll figure out what book pages I'll use and then we'll have to see which one am I going to use that's kind of fall more fall this looks more springish beautiful and then I will score it you score yours at whatever width your book's going to be, your pages will be. Very pretty. This will make a really beautiful little journal page. So, we'll have that. page. It could be in the middle and I'll open up there. And it has some really nice little sayings here. So pretty. So that'll be a book page. And I've got more than enough here to work with. I also have like a CD envelope. I have this envelope that I had dyed. And I thought I'd fold it and then to prepare it for going into the journal, you can just snip it here, like that maybe. And then when it's in, you'll have this little pocket flap. 
so that'd be fun to put in a journal. And I don't know that I'll do all of these, but um, we shall see how that fit. That'd be kind of fun. And actually, it's just a little bigger than five and a half. This might still work. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then you can do a doily, paper doily, folded in half, which I dyed. Here's a fun paper bag. And then I'll just open up this edge here, so I'll have an opening here and here. And then maybe some cards. There's a cute little bunny rabbit that might go in. And here's a real pretty bird card that's going that way, so I'm not sure. And then here's another one. Oh, this is what we already showed you. So there's my piles. Let's see what time we got. Let's see if we can maybe start. Yeah, we can um, put some, see what we might want, and I'm not sure. So I'll just show you my process. Okay, so like I said, I've got the, I'm going to work with a darker, um, or thicker, thicker um, cardstock at the beginning, middle, and um, well, you'll see. Okay, so you can take this little plastic thing that comes, that's on here. I'll work on that. And then what I'm thinking, I think I will use it this way. And then I'll make this a little handle is what I'm thinking possibly. Or maybe a button, so I'm not sure. We'll see. So, and then I usually see what's in the inside. And these are my thicker papers, so I'll go with what I think might work best. And I'm thinking the blue. You know, I realize I don't have much yellow paper or this really beautiful blue, and blue is my favorite color. So I guess i got to get some of that color blue. I have, like, teals, but, yeah, I like any color blue. But isn't that pretty? Or I could go with a softer one like that. I don't know. I think this blue, though. I like that. So I'll go. So I know that I want that one. So we'll go with a thicker. Um, maybe this has a little blue in it. Um, let's see. What else? Maybe I'll do. Hmm. Maybe I'll do. Should I do an envelope, maybe? CD. I'm not sure. I think I want this to be able to come off and, sh you know, be a shaker. So, let's see what we want. I'm going to go with the bird page. Okay. And that might be kind of fun, an envelope. And then I could cut that open. So we have that. And then... How about something let's go with a maybe a ledger. Ledger. So I'll probably seal this and then open that end. So we got that. And then we'll go with this garden page and then maybe the green and it depends what you want if you want it this way or that way and then I'll stencil or stamp okay let's I'm gonna save this for my middle so I think we'll do this and what else maybe hmm So 
sometimes it's kind of fun to have. No. Okay. I think I'm going to do one of these thicker ones. So how many pages do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. That has a little purple in it. What is that? Twelve. Thirteen. There we go. Maybe go like that. Maybe I'll add an envelope or something. here and then this could be here and we have this since it's a bright journal Oops. bright colorful journal Let's see what we have. How the, whoops. This will be like this. One, two, three. I'm add this here. I'll probably just trim that. Let's check and see what we have. One little envelope there. Okay. Let's see. Look how fun it is. Lots of funness. That's probably not a word, funness. No, it isn't. Very pretty. And then, thinking about this, and then maybe the rabbit. It looks like he's in the garden. And then I might put a little butterfly here. So. Let's count again. How many pages we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and then this. So I need to add some more blue. I don't have a lot of blue, but 
I don't know. Let's see. I'll add this here. See the glue. Here's a little. Oh, here's some blue. I just don't have a lot of blue paper. I guess or this this color blue. So I think I'll go with that. I think I like this facing this polka dot like that. Okay, here's a little blue in it. I like the purples here. I like the purple with that. We could go. I think we could go like this, or maybe this. Okay, I like that. So, I think I like that. And that's going to be thick, you know, once you get everything in there. This looks like this will have to be cut off a little bit. That's fine. I'll just glue it. So, let's see. Just have a few things out here in case I want to add something else. But I think we have it. Too much white here. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I think pretty much that is what we're gonna work with. And then, of course, I chunk it up with adding a lot of things to it. So um, we will sew it in next. And then embellish. Okay, I um, picked out the color. I use embroidery floss. You can use whatever you'd like. That's pretty with that. Um, but I think before we do, I'd like to remove a little bit of the bulk here because I want to glue this down. So, I'm just going to cut this little section off here. Just right along here. Just don't want all that bulk here. Actually, Got this cardboard too. You could use it for tags if you wanted to. Then I have to cut here and okay, here. I'm gonna cut here and um, okay. So like I said, we're just gonna take this part out. Just because it has a lot of extra bulk. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So I took that off. And now it's still going to be pretty strong. And then this is going to be opening, and this will be this part I'm going to glue shut. And you could even take that off, but. I don't think you need to. And I'm just going to glue along. Oops, I should have my mat here. I'm getting glue. My glass mat. 
kind of glue this little edge here that I left. Then I'm going to glue that shut. So I hope you saw what I did. And you know what you could, um, I don't really want to sew along because um, you know, I want to open up the other side. Okay, so now we have this folded and I'm thinking that you got to decide which side. I think this is going to be my um, front. And then I'm going to try to figure maybe using some of these, maybe, possibly, maybe not. I'm not sure. We'll see. So that's what we have. There's our center. And here's our signature. And I'm thinking, do I want to put a butterfly in here? I think I do. Let me look for a butterfly. Okay, I have some butterflies that I had got at the Dollar Tree a while back. I wish I had more, but they're really pretty. I think I'm going to use that one. This one's pretty, too. Got a little blue in it. Okay. And how I do this is I'm going to score it. If I can find my little score. Um, thing. But I can't, so let's just use this. Just going to score it. down the middle of his body. See what we got. Okay. Score it a bit. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll trim, you know, whatever's out. Let's just see if we have, I think we have everything like we want it. Yeah, so I usually use a big paper clip or you can use a binder clip. I think I want this to be like that. And then this will be in about the middle. I might just put a little bit of glue down. Just a little bit. Try not to get it on the sides. Just to hold it in place a bit. Okay, now um, we're going to get our 
whatever you've chosen string and then I do about three I'm going to do a little bit more because I'll, I'll do some charms add charms to it thread it sometimes I'll put a little washi here but I think it'll be okay and then where's my all You'll need an awl or a pokey tool. And we're going to center it to the bag. Whatever looks good. Clip it. And this is just a just one signature three hold three hole uh, um, three hole can't think of the word <laughs> okay so I'm going to set that in the book so that we can punch and it won't go through Onto something else. Looks very good. Um, actually, let's move that up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go about in the middle. So. I'm gonna poke a hole. I got oh a lot of layers. Wow, yeah, through the um bag. It's pretty hard too. So we get one, and let's go about inch, inch and a half down here. Punch a hole. Oops, you know what? We're going to have to get this. Well, I don't want to go that far down, but to catch that, we can always put washi or something there. You need a little bit of strength because of the bag. Okay, so let's go through the hole here, middle, and bring it down. Don't pull your string all the way through, and we'll go back through here. I usually do the bottom going up. It's probably not going to work because I'm on camera and there are, is a lot of layers, but it went through. Okay, then I'm going to bring it, there's the tail, bring it up to the top, poke it through, bring it back through this middle hole on the outside try not to split the threads and then we're going to try to come back through here which we did remove our clips And we're going to want each string on either side of this middle, which we have. 
and then just make sure that it's tight. I'll just pull. Looks good to me. And then we'll tie it. I do about three. And then we can hang charms from the strings if we want. But look how pretty. And then, of course, I'm going to be cutting. And then I'll, I always add, like, lace or something, too. So that was easy, wasn't it? For a one-hole signature using a gift bag. Let's see what we have. It's pretty with the blue, the birds. And this is where we glued it shut. And I'll add lace or something, maybe. So it's a nice sturdy journal. And then I'll cut this and seal this part because it's too hard to get into that envelope. Pretty. Isn't that fun? I did add vellum. Vellum. We'll cut this open from that bag. Paper bag. I think it's so fun. And then I did add this little cutoff piece in this little note paper. So cute. And there's the other side. Hmm. Just a little bit of whimsy. Trim that up a little bit if I want. So I hope you give this a try. It's fun. And I'll cut this. And then next is embellishing and stamping. I'll probably add something to this edge of the envelope. I love it. It's so pretty. So fun. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.